respect. It's all Gotta about respect. that R-E-S-P-C-T. R-E-S-P-C-T. Aretha Franklin. A classic. Do you know why we listened to him? Well, we just played Aretha Franklin, Sam? Tell me why. Because I was on Rolling Stone Magazine's Top 100 Singers of All Time. Mm -hmm. Guess which number Aretha Franklin sits at? Four. Numero uno, man. Numero uno? I was going to say that, but then I thought that was maybe too obvious. No, she's number one, man. Cool. That's really cool. That's very cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was looking, looking at all these other fucking people that are on there. Like, I think Johnny Cash was number 19. Is it singers, not like musicians or like artists, singers. Like people, singers. Like based yeah. on their singing ability. Yeah. Uh, Ray Charles was number two or four. Yeah um stevie wonder was like in the top 10 i think mm -hmm. um but yeah there's like like marriage oblige is in there not right. not in now the top i want to look at this list yeah it's a really 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 cool list like bob dylan's up there um and i was like looking and it's funny because you can see the beatles john mccartney is like i think in like who paul mccartney john <laughs> mccartney oh you know why i said john mccartney yeah, of course i know why you mashed yeah, them up fucked them up Paul McCartney is uh, is up there, but then John Lennon's like I think is like the top ten, mm -hmm. which makes sense to me at least. Yeah, totally. I definitely like John Lennon's voice over Paul McCartney's. Um, although I love that song. Um, okay, I don't know the name of it. It's by Wings. The yeah. Wings, or is it the Wings or Wings? Uh, I think it's Wings. Wings, whatever. Um, or maybe it's the Wings. Maybe it's I was the just wings. thinking Paul McCartney and the Wings. Fuck, what's the name of that song? I don't know. Uh, it was on The Simpsons. Oh, now I'm going to have to find out. Well, Sorry. There's a lot of songs on The Simpsons, so that doesn't narrow, narrow it down at all. I'm going to have to find this one out. Uh, but welcome to. Shift Faced. Shift Faced. The Wings, is it? Yeah, it's The Wings. The Wings. Um, yeah, welcome to Shift Faced. Sorry, peeps. I'm trying to fucking find this fucking name of the song. Um. Uh, you know what? I lied. It's wings. <laughs> um, okay, this phone is distracting me. I'll find out the name of the song soon. But how does uh, it go? I, that's like I feel like I uh, I just gotta hear it, mm. and I'll I'll tell you no no uh, wings song. Let's try that. Let's see. Come the on, most Google. Popular one. It's probably gonna be it. Come on, Google. Show me what you got. Wings. Paul McCartney. Oh yeah, I got it. All right. I'm going to play it so everybody can hear my favorite wing song. Wing song. Uh, uh, why don't you tell people what we're drinking, Sam, before, while I first figure this shit first, out? First thing first, my favorite part. What are we <laughs> drinking? We are drinking Johnny Q Sparkling Brute. Some sparkling uh, wine from Australia. Aussie town. Tony picked it up today for us. I did. How do you like it? It's not bad, actually. It's not I bad. I like it, actually. It's pretty It's pretty good. Yeah, it's... it's pretty it's, aromatic. Uh, yeah, aromatic, I would say. Um, it is refreshing. Totally. It's very refreshing. Okay, yes. are we ready for this? I'm ready. All right, I'm going to play it. I'm going to play the song now. Here we go. Oh, it's a live version. Sorry, people. It's all right. I know you know the song. I'm sure I do. Right, how are you feeling? Good? That's Paul McCartney. No, really? Yeah. <laughs> right, thanks a lot. We're going to change around here. Then he's going to play a bit of bass. Uh, we're going to do a piano tune. All right, come on now. Uh, it goes back a few albums. But uh, I'm sure you know it. Wait. Mm -hmm. Tell me you know this. So this is my favorite song for, them, for sure. Maybe I'm amazed at the way you love me all the time. Yeah, I knew you were talking about this. Right? Yeah. 
Maybe I'm amazed. Maybe I'm afraid of the way I love you. Maybe I'm afraid the way I love you. Part's coming. Anyway, maybe I'm amazed by you. Amazed by you, yeah, by uh, Paul McCartney. This might be a, a music podcast, actually. This episode might be a music episode. Seems like it. Yeah, we're uh, we're. Th- Theming it up with some music. Uh, yeah, Aretha Franklin, Paul McCartney. Uh, but then there's, yeah, so I said uh, John Lennon. John Lennon's up there for me. Mm-hmm. I'm kind of glad that they actually picked John Lennon to be in the, in, in like closer to number one than right. Paul McCartney. And because I think John Lennon's voice is one of a kind for sure. Yeah, definitely. I was going to say, actually, it's funny you said, well, Bob Dylan, funny and not so funny. Like it's kind of expected. He's, you know, Considered by many to be one of the the greatest. Not your mom. I was gonna say. However, <laughs> he's very controversial. Like a lot of people think that his singing is garbage, and that he was like maybe a talented lyricist, but that his actual hmm. like voice of like it's very like nasal. Like, yeah. Yes, and like people didn't think he was actually talented, and that was just like his way of right. Do you know what I got turned on to, Bob Dylan? after so okay i it's funny it's actually it's not funny because it makes a lot of sense Mm -hmm. you like a lot of music you listen to and a lot of music that you really like and you love come from you just like literally loving that music loving that song or whatever or that uh, artist okay for me a lot of music and songs and artists that i really like has is because that they I heard him in a movie. Right. And me being a movie guy and I've seen a lot of different movies and I like to say that I know my movies and you know your music. That's you know, that's our so thing. So you attach the music to the movie and the movie makes you feel a certain way. Oh, I love which it. Which is the way Oh yeah. That like that's how you get connected to it. Oh, absolutely. Where like, as like for someone who was who would be more into music, like maybe me mm-hmm, for instance mm-hmm. I would just get that like connection and that feeling from the music itself. Exactly. For me, it'd be like I would, uh, if I'm watching a movie and this like cool scene comes on and there's a song attached to it and there's yeah. a song playing in the background. Oh my god! It's like I'm I'm a romantic when it comes to that kind of shit. You know what I mean? Like I just love that. Uh, whatever the director kind of like makes, like right. just using that music to enhance that experience basically from watching that scene so do you have a favorite movie in terms of music like Hmm. do you think of movies in terms of like oh i really love the soundtrack to that movie yes Yes. so what some movies give me a i'll give you two that off the top of my head uh hustle and flow yeah and black snake moan so hustle and flow is is a movie that's sort of about music that's true it is about music, which is like I have always really, really loved movies that are about music. Like that's why. What's almost, your favorite movie of all time? Almost famous. Almost famous. Um, excuse me, sparkling wine. Um, <laughs> yeah, like I really, really love those movies, which is why I keep telling you that we need to watch The Doors because mm. it's such a good movie. Is just that with Val Kilmer? Yes. Nice. Uh, it's so good, Tony. So good. Um, and obviously, like it's a music movie. There's a lot of music in it, and. I'll watch it's it. It's just, it's awesome. I'll watch it. I think it's on Netflix. At least it used to be. Right. Hey, Black Snake Moan is about music too, though. That's true. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, let me pick something else that is not about music, but... But it just has a really good soundtrack. Weirdly enough, what is coming to my head right now, not necessarily a full soundtrack, this brings us back to what, what I was going with Bob Dylan, be like, I first really got into Bob Dylan, was from after watching Reservoir Dogs. Oh, yeah. And stuck in the middle with you. Mm-hmm. A very, very disturbing and gory scene. I do not condone that scene at all. Stuck in the middle with you is not a Bob Dylan song. Oh, it's That's not? a Steve Miller band Oh, my God. Song. He did a cover. Anyway, he, Bob Dylan did a cover, I think. Did I fuck this one up? I okay. never heard him sing that song, I don't think. No, I need to look this up. Okay. 
All right, I got another one, Bob Dylan one for you. So Bob Dylan has always been attached to a movie for me. The other one, which I thought the first one was fucking Reservoir Dogs, was stuck in the middle with you, but apparently fucking not. But the other one was Hurricane. Hurricane? Hurricane? Hurricane, yeah. Denzel Washington? Yes. I didn't know you had seen that movie. Uh, Because I... I'm pretty sure I have. But, but I just I thought remember we, the we trailer. Talked, we were watching that movie together. Here comes the story of the No, we, I don't think we've. I don't think you've seen it. I think we. Anyway, we watched the trailer and we've like talked about. And the trailer's awesome. Yeah, so a lot it's of funny. Tra- so the two movies that, that <laughs> you were attached to Bob Dylan were you know one what? movie that doesn't have him in it and the other movie that you haven't seen. Fuck it, your mom's right. Bob Dylan's overrated. <laughs> <laughs> um, fuck. What was I gonna say? Uh, oh, speaking of Bob Dylan and the movies, there's mm-hmm. this movie that came out uh, in the 2000s and it was called I'm Not There. Do you remember that? And it was about Bob Dylan and all these different people played Bob Dylan and it was like, hmm. it was like this weird like intertwining of stories. It was really good. Um, I, feel I don't like that's know if I another... like fucking movies like that. Like, just give it's... me a fucking story and... It's really good though. I get it. Like, it's one of those things like, yeah, you watch it and then at the end you're like, oh man, that was a good movie. But sometimes I just want to go watch a fucking movie just so I can just watch a story unfold, you know, versus like, oh. It is a story unfolding. Yeah, though. but it's like so artistic. And yeah, it is. It's very artistic. Fucking, it's very hipster, isn't it? Yeah, but it's so good. Right. Well, then maybe I should check it out one day. That's what I'm saying. Let's watch it. We should do a double feature of The Doors and I'm Not There. Hey, you get two movies. I don't get two movies. I should plug in my You movies. get two movies. I'm giving you two movies. We watched Die Hard, the first one. You haven't seen the first one. All right. No, all right. What do you mean, no, all right? What do you want me to say? <laughs> no? You just said, all right, and you just were just coldly silent after that for a split second. That makes no sense. One split second. One split second. But did I say a few? You said once. I'm in a lot of pain right now, Sam. That's right. Tell I fucked why don't, myself why don't you tell up our listeners tonight. What happened to you? Okay, listeners. What time is it right now? I don't know, midnight. Fucking midnight or some shit like that on a motherfucking Sunday. I work tonight. And I was about to shake a fucking cocktail when to lock in the two cocktail mixers, the two ends of the cocktail mixer together. And you do that by like, you know, just tapping it or being me slamming it against the bar. My fucking hand slipped and I caught my thumb and I slammed the cocktail shaker against my thumb and I fucked it up. It's all cut up right now and my thumbnail is half black and I'm in a lot of pain. It's throbbing like a motherfucker. Sam's looking at it right now. It's gross as shit. Yeah. Well, it's gross as shit because you haven't washed it. So you got blood all around it. Because it hurts, man. I don't want to yeah. fucking put water on it or anything. But uh, I think this is maybe the, what, the fourth time that you've come home with a fucking blue glove on your hand since you've had this job. <laughs> Occupational hazards, man. But what can I tell you? You got to be more careful. Well, well, you know, I'm in a lot of pain right now, but I took an aspirin. I've been drinking heavily and... It's Speaking not which, helping. Keep it elevated. You haven't been keeping it elevated. I guess I keep it elevated. Yeah. Elbow on the table. Like hold my hand up like this the entire well, fucking time. If, yeah, if you want the throbbing to stop, that's going to have to be... Or get into that fucking bottle of tequila that's been staring at me all night. Ugh. Mm-mm-mm. Although, here's something funny about tequila. I remember one time we were in Ottawa, when we were living in Ottawa, we had a bottle of tequila, Jose Huervo, because we're classy, in the freezer for a long, long time. Oh, yeah. And then I took a shot of it the night, like at nighttime before bed almost. Next day, I was puking my ass off. Yeah. And now I'm kind of scared. So don't. (laughs) But lucky for me, there's a Canadian club next to it. And Canadian clubs. Canadian clubs are cleaning clubs. (laughs) I don't know where the fuck I was going with that one. But anywho, folks. Uh, we are, I know it sounds like we're not super fancy because we're drinking fucking Jose Huervo that's been sitting around well, for a while. you are, I'm not. Cutting up our fucking, bl- like, thumbs and there's Again, blood everywhere and shit are, like I'm that. Not. And, uh, Sam basically choosing to be with me. Uh, <laughs> you can think of, to bring me down to your level is that's that I'm with you. That's fucking right. You pick this thing right here. You picked it, not me. Uh, But I think I know where you're going with that. Yeah, we're going to be fancy tomorrow. We are going to the symphony tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to get cultured. Ooh la la. The symphony. We got free tickets, baby. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Literally, I was talking to my sister uh, this morning, and 
uh, I was telling her how I need to get shoes for tomorrow or whatever. And she's like, why, what are you doing? And I was like, I'm going to the symphony. And she's, she just said, why? <laughs> and I was like, oh yeah, free tickets. She's like, okay. I wonder what it's going to be like. I feel like I'm going to be bored. But at the same time, I feel like I like weird shit. And I think exactly. I might actually very I much like it. I think you're going to be into it <laughs> more than you think. Also, Probably. like we talked. So I actually talked to someone who has been. Okay. okay. So the, the shows aren't all the same. Like we're going to a different oh, program. Good. than Right? Very exciting. The cello guy's um, going to play the fucking A minor. This so time. apparently <laughs> they're, they're usually around two hours with an intermission. Ooh. So, Fancy. you know, we can we can convene during the intermission and be like, how much are we into this? Do we want to stay? Do we want to go? It's funny. I actually asked. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's probably a good idea. Um, I asked uh, one of the chicks that I work with and I told, well, I told her I'm going to symphony. She's like, oh my God, that's awesome. I've been there. And I was like, oh, in Vancouver. She's like, no, in Calgary. And I was like, well, how is it? She's like, well, it's just them playing music. I was like, is it boring? <laughs> she's like, no, you know, it's not just have some wine before you go Mm -hmm. (laughs) i was like oh okay so obviously you're basically telling me get buzzed and then go you'll probably enjoy it all right cool i was yeah like we weren't gonna do that anyway of course um we're going to number six restaurant in canada called hawksworth for appies and drinks before the symphony oh man we so fancy we so fancy so fancy should be fun just in general like getting dressed up going out having a drink having fancy shit you know, Fancy shit. and like I said, if we're going to be bored of the symphony, we can fucking leave. We didn't pay for it. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. true. Yeah. Who gives a fuck? Um, what else are we doing tomorrow? We're going to hang out with your parents. We'll see. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe go, uh, go walking around with them. Yeah. It's supposed to be nice tomorrow, like 18 degrees and sunny, I think. Hopefully. How was your day today, Sam? Um, my day was all right. You know, I went to work. Um, how was work? Work was very slow. I, uh, Served a bunch of people. Old rich people. No. I served a bunch of people who I expected to not tip me. And they tip me. They all tip me well. Why did you not expect them to tip you, Sam? So I will let you know. The first table I had was four elderly people. British. Elderly oh my and British. God. That is not a good combination Mm-mm-mm. for tipping. The Brits don't tip. Right. So, and they, they were like so basic. You know, they, they ordered to start. They... All four of them had a side Caesar salad. Let me guess, they got tea? Uh, no, they uh, had one lady who was drinking tonic water. And Did the guys have a pint of beer? No. The a pint two, of lager? Uh, one couple was having a glass of wine, and then the other guy was just having water. Hmm. Um, so they had the side Caesar salad to start, and then they had uh, they all had the same entree as well. So I was like, oh, like this table isn't going to be great, but whatever, you know, um, just like still chatting with them, serving them, obviously. And uh, room charge, which is usually not a good uh, sign either because with the debit machines, right. it suggests a tip, right? So it says, sure. how do you want to tip, basically? 15%, 20%, right. whatever the fuck. With the room charge, they have to fill it out on their own and they just have to do the math on their own. So right. that's always dangerous. Anyway, he did me 20%, so that was great. Nice. My next table was um, two gentlemen who were French. Very, 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 very nice, but French. And just... <laughs> very, very, very nice, but French. Well, I just mean like, you know, European people often like set off that flag of like, oh, fuck, you don't normally tip where you, where you live. Of course. So oh, this might not go well. Anyway, they were very, very, very lovely. Like I chatted with them a lot and they tipped me 20%. So that was fantastic. Sick. Um, my next table was like three elderly, like elderly, elderly um Chinese people who mm-hmm. barely spoke any English. Mm-hmm. So again, normally I'm I'm coming off a little prejudiced here, but like anyone who's a server knows that there's there's certain demographics where you're just like in general, this is how you how I would expect you to tip, right? Sure. Like I'm not alone there, right? You're making uh, me seem like I'm feel alone. Like you are. Tony. No, what are we talking about? Chinese people they always tip ten percent. Elderly, elderly, oh, they elderly, tip and they That's don't it. they don't speak any English. No, they tip nothing. Right. I'm not afraid to say it. Twenty Twenty percent. Yeah, you can't argue with the truth. But I got twenty percent from them. Oh, you got th- th- there. You go. Perfect. And then my last table was an an older British couple. Mm-hmm. So again, I'm like, fuck, twenty percent. Jesus Christ, are you so paying anyway, for tomorrow? Uh, well, I don't know Off if you I don't shit. know if you've been able to do the math, but that was only four tables. 
four tables, for they the probably all evening. spend a thousand no. bucks each, no, twenty no, percent. No, no, so you probably made eight hundred dollars. Not even close. Anyway, so uh, it was very, very slow, but the people I served were very lovely and they were generous. So that's cool. It was all right. And you know, it, it wasn't a lot of work, obviously, since it wasn't busy. Yep. Um, however, I was training somebody, which is like, I don't, I don't know. We're going to talk s- about training fucking people again. Uh, yeah. We'll uh, talk about them two, I guess. Yeah. Episodes ago. I just wanted to say it's just, uh, it's very mouth drying. Like fuck new people, right? Because you have to right? talk so much. And it's just like, I just constantly needed to drink water. Anyway, so it was overall, my, my day was all right. It was nothing special, nothing bad. Average. Average, well, slow, but average in terms of quality. Well, sounds I very suppose. exciting. I, I re- just want to thank you for bringing that to this podcast. Fuck you, and you asked this- me. <laughs> Let me tell you about my fucking day. We already heard. I almost you cut off my goddamn thumb. thumb. Uh, and two, I had a little party. Well, not me, but there was a party in the restaurant. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was a party in a private room. Private room booked for about 30 to 40 people, which you have to spend a minimum amount to be able to book that party, book that room, sorry. Right. And the party was for a birthday, but not just any birthday. It was a Disney-themed birthday for oh, a seven-year-old. how exciting. For a seven-year-old. At a fancy restaurant, because seven-year-olds love fancy restaurants. That's right. <laughs> and they had an adult Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. hired some fucking dude yeah. my age probably dressed as spider-man like had to toe like literally fucking spider-man right and a disney princess disney princess everybody was telling me rubber something i that Rubba, doesn't sound right fucking fuck fuck i don't know it's from rapunzel? like rapunzel rapunzel who is that? You didn't know who Rapunzel no, is? No, well, who the fuck is Rapunzel? She's going with a super about long Rapunzel. hair who's locked in a castle and she left That's her hair said. down. And they said, oh, because they're like, she's locked in a castle. It's like Sleeping Beauty. And they all laughed at me. Oh. Like, no, not Sleeping Beauty. All the fucking princesses are locked in a castle at some point. Anyway. Uh, that's what the problem with society is today. I Tell me about it. <laughs> right? Um, Which castle were you fucking locked in when I came? Oh, it's called Ottawa. Uh, anyway um anyway not gonna talk about that one no um but anyway Uh, yeah so so rapunzel rapunzel okay and spider-man and these two were adult uh actors and actresses i like how you keep mentioning that they're adults because it'd be fucking weird if they were kids i can't but i don't know it's kind of weird it's like me be like my job is to dress as fucking spider-man and go into a kid's birthday party rich kid's birthday party go to disneyland what do you think all those people do sure and these people are probably like aspiring actors and this is like the shitty job that they have probably anyway it's shitty and they also they also had a professional photographer Mm -hmm. uh taking pictures well when i say professional photographer i don't mean like a photographer that i've seen at weddings No, no no i'm talking about someone with fucking lighting and umbrellas oh my and God. fucking shit like that for a seven-year-old a fucking seven-year-old these are rich people my friends Obviously. rich 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 people yeah and it's fucking so sad to see it and it's funny because i was talking to one of the people i was working with today one of the other bartenders and he's like man i remember i was when i was eight i got a dairy queen fucking cake <laughs> dairy queen cake and he was yeah. the happiest fucking person ever I'm like, yeah, man. I remember that too. I remember. I, I remember my parents remember got me a cake from Safeway one birthday. time, and it was great. Yeah, it was because I didn't expect it. I didn't expect to get a cake. Oh, well, you didn't uh, expect to get a cake. No, my mom always made my birthday special. Yeah, she always like, you know, I got up the first thing she said, "Happy birthday!" and blah 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 blah. She always had like an amazing breakfast for me. She always made it very very special, and I just knew that day was great, and I'll probably get a gift from her. But it was always like randomly we would have dinner, and I'm like done dinner or whatever and then she would just come out of nowhere with a cake and a candle in it and it was kind of cool and then my dad would come around and stuff and it was just like something i never expected like i just you know whatever um so it was really cool it was very very special to me and it's just so crazy to see a fucking seven-year-old having so much money spent on her little birthday yeah and this is what i was thinking so i was thinking i'm like you know i I don't hate rich people. Rich people are rich. You know, good for them. They made it or someone in their family made it and they got the money or whatever. Right. I just, it's it's weird. You know how sometimes you meet rich people and they're just fucking arrogant bastards? They're entitled. They're entitled. They think they're better than they're everyone else. They're just assholes. Yeah, of they're course. Just, and I see them all the fucking time at work and I'm sure you do too. 
And then you see people who are rich, like rich, because I can see that fucking ring on her finger. Right. You know what I mean? That rock on her finger. Yeah. I know you're fucking rich. But or the then, car they drive up or in or the clothes they're wearing they or any, yeah. And they're the nicest people ever. Mm-hmm. Super nice. Yeah. Super, super nice, right? So the ones that are entitled and arrogant and assholes and just bastards, this kid reminded me of them. Like, not to say this kid, but like, I have a feeling that these people were the ones who fucking grew up rich and mommy right. and daddy spoiled the fuck out of them. Yeah. And and, and now they're, they, exactly, they're entitled. They feel they're entitled. They're entitled and they think that they can have whatever they want. It doesn't matter, you know, nobody else matters. And nobody it's else just matters. all about them. And that makes me so angry, Sam. Like that's, yeah. those are like, to me, are the lowest of the lows. Those are the people that bother me the most. Like, mm-hmm. I, like fucking criminals don't bother me that much. You know what I mean? Like these people are just so... Fucking like literally when they said the world revolves around you, like that's how they look. That's how yeah. they feel, right? Yeah. And it's fucked. And I just, I don't know. I don't know what to say. It's, and again, I'm saying I'm not trying to say I'm like, you know, power to the people or whatever the fuck. Hey man, if you're, you made it, you made a lot of money, you were smart and you're rich now, good for you. Hey, if your parents gave you a ton of money and you were smart about it, you made a lot of money, good for you. The thing that pisses me off is not being a good fucking person. Totally. You can be rich and be a good person. Yeah. You can be poor and be a good person or a shitty person. Yeah. Right? But the ones that have so much wealth and are assholes Mm -hmm. bother me the most. Yeah. Because you you have nothing to complain about. And the people who are like that and they're assholes and they're entitled... They also don't seem like they're happy. You know what I mean? They yeah. seem grumpy and yes. like... Maybe that's why they're assholes. Maybe, but also that probably just comes from the fact of like if they're growing up with this much money, they're obviously... It seems like they're obviously not being taught that they're that they're lucky, that they're mm-hmm. fortunate and that they should be happy for their privilege and yep. that they should, you know, be conscious of the fact that they do have that privilege and that not everybody else does and that they should... Just be. That's a, if I was a gazillionaire and had yeah. kids, I would fucking like every day. I would just be like, I don't know. I would make sure my kids know that they're fucking privileged, right? But at the same time, and it's make not, them make them work for that privilege, and it's right? not their money. Yeah, exactly. It ain't their exactly. money. It's my money. Yeah, they're just they just got lucky a little bit. It's like Will Smith said. Will Smith. Uh, there's a quote from Will Smith. It's like, my kids aren't rich. I'm rich. Or right. something like that. Yeah. Um, Until his kids started fucking working on their now his kids are rich. careers. Like, remember when his daughter came out with that song, I Whip My Hair Back and Forth? That was his daughter? Like, yeah. When she was oh, like shit. 10. I put my hair back and forth. I whip my hair like back and forth. She was like 10 years old. Good for her. Mm. Hey, man. Lil Bow Wow was like eight. I Bow guess. Wow Wow. Yippee yo. Yippee yay. Where, Where my, my dogs, dogs at? Bark, Bark with me. me now. Oh, my God. I had that album. Uh, Did you? Oh, hell yeah. Wow. I bought it when it first came out, man. I uh, Did you watch that movie? He was in uh, with... Uh, there was a movie that came out called Lottery. <sighs> it was called Like Mike. And it was... Was it yeah. Michael Jordan? Yeah. It was like like Mike. Michael Jordan. Yeah. I kind of remember that. That movie was the shit. He was in... He was an orphan. He, he was, was an in orphan. an orphanage. Right. And he... Oh. Oh, please. sorry. I should Just fucking pour, pour it for yourself. You. Don't worry about me. Uh, Speaking of being entitled. Oh, my God. <laughs> Very um, speaking of assholes, I actually have a funny story about two guests who were at the restaurant tonight. Not um, guests, assholes. That's right. Yeah, you're right. Um, they I, they weren't in my section, but I w- observed a lot of it. Um, so they were sat, it was two women, and they said that there were going to be four people. So they were sat at a booth for four people, and the server that I work with, she went over to them, and uh, she was telling me, she was like, every single thing I say to them, they're arguing with me about it. Oh my god! Like she said something about how like we have a spring salmon tonight, but and then she made a joke. It was like, oh, but it should really be called a s- summer salmon because like it's summer now. And and the the woman was like, actually, it's still spring. Oh and god. she's like, oh yeah, like haha, like technically it is for like another like ten days. She's like, yeah, so it's still spring, so it shouldn't be summer salmon. It should be spring salmon. I feel like we should have both of those people here as guests. Yeah. It'll make a very interesting podcast. Just listen so, to them. But it gets so much worse. So um, worse. they were just like, uh, I don't know, just being bitches in general. And then they bitches were like. Bitches in general. They're, they're still waiting for that two, be a rap two people. Song. Yeah. Bitches in general. Um, and uh, 
they're waiting for two people so they say and then at one point they're just like we want to move to the patio so they moved to the patio and then the manager was like the manager caught wind of this and was like oh, i can tell these women are bad news i don't want like because the server who was originally serving them the patio wasn't her section he's like i don't want to just pass them on to another server i don't want you to have to deal with them he's like i'm just going to serve them because they're bad news I don't want to put that Your on manager any of the servers. Yeah. I was just going to serve them. Yeah. He oh, was that's being nice super great about it. So he was serving them and they were being bitches to him. And at one point he was like out, bitches. outside, just like, you know, walking around the patio, just seeing how things were going. And these uh, other women just walked past the patio and these mm-hmm. women were Spanish and they were speaking Spanish. And the one woman who was like being such a bitch yelled out to them. Stop speaking Spanish. You're in Canada. Speak English. Shut the fuck up. Yelled out to, Shut to the these fuck people up. who were not even fuck, like. Fuck no. Yeah, I'm serious. No fucking way. Apparently, the Spanish girls just turned around and looked at her and just laughed and were like, "Fuck off." Oh my god, I would have fucking went up. Oh man. Yeah. So. Oh man. Um, I, I wish. So I could, you I, had a bunch of racists. I wish I could remember your what else. Uh, what else they said? But oh my god, if I own that restaurant, kick where, him out. I'd kick the, him out. At the end, uh, the manager brought over his card and was like, like he was just really trying to like lay it on to like be like, we're all super super nice and you're being bitches, you know, just to make a point. Like of it, suck kind my of. dick. Anyway, oh. so the manager at the end of their meal brought over a card and was like, here's my card, la- ladies. Like, just let me know if, like, there's anything we can do for you in the future. And she picked it up and was like, okay, and ripped the business oh. card up. I'm sorry. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Back can up. you believe back, this? Back up, back up. Why the fuck did your manager drop off a business well, card? I just told you. Because he was, sorry, he was just it. trying to fight their attitude with, like, extra kind. Like, kill, kill, kill him with kindness. Kill him with kindness, exactly. And then they ripped it in front of him. Mm-hmm. How old were these people? Um, uh, 40-ish. Uh, I, I didn't get a good look at them because I was like, 40-ish. I don't want to go buy them. I don't want to like... Like 40-ish, like rich I fucking I'm housewife not, looking. I'm not really sure. Okay. Just like at, kind of average looking. Like like if you like oh saw God. them, you wouldn't be like, oh, these look like a certain way. They're just kind of like... Really like... Did, did it look like trashy? No, just like kind of like normal looking. The fuck, yeah, I wish man. I could remember some of the other things that they said. It was just kind of outrageous. Yeah, that, that whole Spanish remark. If so, who heard this? Uh, the hostess. Yeah, they need to fucking go. Yeah, you right. can't think Harass about other it. Other people, I know. no, you can't have guests in your restaurant while they're being racist to another fucking yeah. not necessarily your guests, but they're being racist. You can't have that. It's like having a fucking couple of white dudes talking about like black people in a very racist manner yeah. in your restaurant at that. You can't have that. Get the fuck out. I mean, yeah. I don't even give a shit if it's like you can't have that because it's bad for business. No, get the fuck out. You don't want to have anyone like that in your restaurant, right? Yeah. And it's uh, fucking people, eh? Yeah. God damn it. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. It was like they they were probably the worst I've ever he- heard of or seen. And I've seen pretty bad stuff serving rich <laughs> people. Like, That's awful. Yeah. That's fucking unbelievable, awful. Unbelievable, right? Excuse me. Well, hopefully they get hit by a bus somewhere. I mean, hopefully they just they just become aware of... Get hit by a their, bus and well, fucking vanish off the planet. It'll help all of us. Sounds <laughs> like it. Fuck sakes. Anyway, they're obviously very miserable people, so I yeah, just feel bad for them. So here's the thing: it's uh, the way I see it is that a lot of people would like that are that act that way. You know, going back to our whole fucking asshole rich people is that they have a lot of insecurities, they have a lot of problems themselves. It's basically they're cactuses, cactuses, cacti. cacti. I know, I fucking fuck that up every time. They're cacti. Put your thumb up. Yeah, sorry. They're uh, like all fucking prickly and shit on the outside, all spiky and stuff. But they're all soft on the inside. They just put this little... Yeah, that's right. Uh, they're very vulnerable and delicate very vulnerable and sensitive. Delicate, but they put this exterior thing out for everyone. Yeah. It's like, hey, look at me. And blah, 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 blah. But you're fucking nothing. Like, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's sad. It's what it is. It's, it's, it's sad. Honestly, it's like... I feel bad for them. Totally. I feel bad for them. Absolutely. They're miserable and that sucks for them. That sucks for them. Yeah. Yeah. Because you know what? They're just going to live a life of hate and just sadness really mm-hmm. deep down inside and all that negativity and they put out is just going to come back to them right? going to come back to them and they're not really going to enjoy life that's right so that's why it's like we were all you know just kind of like brushing it off and right just letting it 
sort of letting them sort of fester in their own misery because that's really all on them. <sighs> Motherfuckers. Yeah. Anyway. Um, anyway, let's go on a positive note. Like, fuck me. Maybe I should be drinking this Canadian Club. How much of this Canadian Club? Oh, we got a little tiny bit. Just a little bit. Canadian Club. Do you want to tell you a little story about Canadian Club, Sam? Sure. Canadian Club, Canadian whiskey for all you peeps out there. Um, Canadian whiskey, it's... it's Okay, so this became... Okay, Sam keeps fucking showing me that I should fucking lift my arm. Do you want to hold my arm up like this? Yeah, like, the higher I'm the better. It's, you're supposed the sky. to be elevating it. I can't fucking talk like this, Sam. Well, put the, your elbow on the it's table. It's fine. My, my, my finger's fine. All right, fine. Well, then what do I care? What do you care? Anyway, I was telling you about Canadian Club. Canadian Club whiskey. Um, it's Canadian whiskey, obviously. And it became... It was the number one whiskey. The number one whiskey on the planet. Back in like the 30s or like the 20s or something like that. And what happened was that apparently, this is all I heard, what I heard in school from my law professor back in the day. He said that the basically the guy who owned Canadian Club Whiskey, he passed it on to his son. His son was a fuck up. He fucked it all up. And the company went down the drain. Someone else bought it and they kind of started building it back up and it still haven't gone to where it once used to be and it will probably never get to that point because they're such a big company but the cool thing about canadian club is that during prohibition in the states mm-hmm. um uh, booze runners would come up to canada and they would smuggle uh canadian club whiskey mm-hmm. back down with them oh yeah so do you, i know where you're going with this yeah you've heard the story so yes. uh mickey's the bottles, they're shaped in a certain way. And I always ask people, I was like, why do you think it's shaped this way? And they're like, oh, because it'll fit in your pocket or whatever. No, not really. It's shaped in a way that is kind of curved on the backside that it would fit inside your boot. Because mm-hmm. back in the day, they would put it, hide it in their boot and they would take it down to the States right. uh, during prohibition. Hence the term bootlegging. bootlegging. That's where it all comes from. Canadian Club Whiskey. Uh, That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, it is a cool story. And it's a little PSA, I guess. Is that a PSA? No. It's not. Do you know what a PSA no. is? Public service announcement. This was an announcement. For public service, service? The public. How? I just served the public by giving them very no, in, that's like, just called, interesting knowledge. That's just called information uh bring that up next time they're at a cocktail party and they really don't know what to talk about and someone says hey i really like this canadian co whiskey i how many people do you think at cocktail parties are talking about how much they love cc cc not that many maybe in like halifax like maybe (laughs) i don't think people in halifax go to cocktail parties I guess I'm so. joking. I'm joking, everyone in Halifax. You're very sophisticated. No, you just killed our Halifax audience. Like <laughs> This is it. We're done. We're done in Halifax. Good night in Halifax for us. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'm going to be drinking this Canadian. Right out of the oh, bottle, eh? Right out of the bottle. There's not that much in there. My fucking thumb hurts. So sue me, Sam. All right. Go ahead. Sue me. What are you going to do? Well, you sue me? I would sue you if you, if you had something to, to sue. Have you? But I'm going to sue you for me. You can sue yourself. Doesn't make any sense. You can sue yourself. All right. You can sue yourself. Wait. Okay. Ah. 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 All right. I'm chugging this. Uno, Ugh. dos, tres, cinco. I'm so not envious of what you're doing right now. That looks disgusting. Yuck. <sighs> did you notice how I said uno, dos, tres, cinco? <laughs> no, I did not. Yeah, I missed out the quattro, man. <laughs> um anyway um i know this is not gonna be one of them long podcasts because we're at 40 minutes right now but it is what it is my fucking thumb hurts like a motherfucker uh my brain hurts i've had this headache all day for some reason her fucking brain hurts so uh listeners if you were hoping that this was gonna be a one hour podcast or past one hour not tonight, bitches. Not tonight. Short and sweet. Short and sweet. Uh, and I'm sorry I called you all bitches. <laughs> but you know you know that's the thing about me saying bitches. I feel like I say bitches. In a loving way. In a loving way. <laughs> to a lot of people. I do. Uh, I 
I'm sure they all, all those people appreciate it. No, at first they're always shocked. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. They're always they're, they're oh, taking it back. Yeah. Yeah, and then I'm like, no, hey, come on, bitches. And like, oh, right. No, the way I just said bitches, it was like, didn't sound good. It's like bitches. There you go. That sounds better. Anyway, I'm drunk. Uh, clearly. Clearly, uh, Sam is just got a headache, and. We are going to play another song. What should I play? Sam, any... How about some Stevie Wonder? Hey. Hey. You know what? I don't have so, like, too many good Stevie. ideas, but once in a while... I have plenty of good ideas, and you uh, know it. Hey, Tony, let's be vegan. Yeah. That's, that's a fantastic that's, idea. That's a horrible fucking idea. No, it's idea. a really good one. Horrible. That's no, really good. Horrible. Oh, do you wonder for once in my life? Um, good I night, have someone who follow us on social media at so uh, shit face pod and subscribe to our podcast if you haven't already and give us a rating. We would love it. Uh, also, if anybody wants to be a guest, just email us. Um, we are at shitfacepodcast at gmail dot com. That's right. But you know there love might be a little backup and on the guest list. Um, we got some. We got some guests coming up soon, so we would love to have you on at some point. But I'm sure we can squeeze you in. Uh, yeah, give us a shout. We'd love to hear from you because uh, doesn't matter which white walk white <laughs> walk of life you're coming from. Like I'm talking about work wise, if you're working a shift, and at the end of the day you're happy you finish your shift and you just want to chat with a couple of people who also finish shifts. We're here to listen and we're here to talk. Hit us up on shiftfacepodcast at gmail.com. For once in my life, I have someone who needs me. Someone I've needed so long. For once unafraid of well, life leads me Somehow I know I'll be strong For once I can touch What my heart used to dream of Long before I knew Oh, someone warm like you Would make my dream come true Yeah, yeah, yeah For once in my life I won't let sorrow hurt me it's hurt me before For once I have something I know won't desert me I'm not alone anymore For oh, once I can see This is mine, you can't take it Long as I know I have love I can make it For once in my life I have some Get it!